Welcome back in the barn for the next part of Library of Runa. In the last part, we were able to see, or rather, we were able to free Markov from her sleep. After all, after the end of the last game, Angela did kind of put every other AI to sleep in order to uh, prepare the stuff for the library. <laughs> Which kind of ruined the ending for all of them, so it's kind of understandable why Markov was kind of a little bit angry at her. But on the upside, she was able to regain her human body and get a third try on life. Even though, technically speaking, I'm not really sure if it's an, it's an improvement. I mean, think about it. Her first life. She died melting on the floor. The second life, she was forced to see multiple employees die under any kind of circumstances, like melted from the inside, blown up by a drink, turned to ice, or burnt crisp by the match girl that she actually has right over here as well. There were so many ways how an employee could die in the last game, and she was kind of forced to see all of them during every cycle. For years! For years! So I'm not really sure if if her third life is going to be that much better, since technically speaking, currently she's she's kind of forced to fight with us. I mean at least she isn't really forced to watch them die, but now she's actually killing her damn them herself. <laughs> That's a kind of character development, right? First she died herself, then she was forced to watch, now she's actually holding the knife and the gun. <laughs> oh my poor Markov, she doesn't get a break. She's literally the John of this game. And all the others as well. They're all put into the John position. Like an opus. <laughs> Everyone is just doing their thing with her. <laughs> and she's not even allowed to complain. Because if she's going to complain and break the deal, she might be turned into a book herself, and then that would be bad for her as well, right? That would be really bad for her as well. I mean, I already need to rescue the other librarians from their normality, and if Markov decides to turn herself into a book simply because she is arguing with Ma and like, I don't know, I don't, I don't really would like that. Especially since I still need to rescue like how many guys are under this current level? Ten. No, wait, eleven people. I have to rescue. 11 people from 11 different abnormalities because I needed to fight abnormalities in order to unlock employees, right? And I also have to keep in mind that it seems like I only have like 4 slots per department which means there might be a limit to how many people I can actually employ in this world. It's going to be even less than from the last game, right? In the last game I had like 5 slots per department. I never actually filled all of them up, which is good. There are more and more people joining every day. It might, be, might become a bit of a problem later on. So I need to keep that number in mind. I might need to calculate how many people can actually join at one point. And at, at the very least all the AIs have to return, right? Yeah, all the AIs should make a return in this game, which means every AI plus four more, minus two of rooms, but only has three. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna calculate that later. I'm probably going to reply from every comment from now on with Okay, I added you plus a number just in order to keep the or in order to keep track on how many slots are still open, huh? <laughs> just for myself, so, so that I constantly remind myself that the, there is a limit approach. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to give anybody false hope by making a mistake, like saying, "Oh sure, I'm gonna edit the list," and then I run out of slots. That would, that would have been really bad for for both sides, right? That would have been really bad for both sides. Nevertheless, that's a worry for another day, right? That's a worry for another day. First and foremost, I need to show you guys a few changes that I made between the last part and this part. First and foremost, I decided to burn a few books. The robots, as you can see. 
we have a few new combat pages. And I also already gave a spin. You guys also mentioned that I should probably refight a couple of the last uh, week fights. Just in order to get a bit more used to the whole combat system of this game, since it is playing a bit differently from all the other strategy games that I played before. And with doing so, I was also able to get a few new key pages. The page of Mo. <laughs> Finally, Roland no longer has a blunt weakness. It's a huge improvement from the Lenny pages that we used to have. I mean, look at this. Two weaknesses, 42 HP. I mean, the HP improvement isn't really that much, but at the very least, we gave up one of his fatal weaknesses. Or rather, uh, we didn't really give up the fatal weakness, we just uh, removed one uh, weakness in general and turned the fatal weakness from blunt to pierce. But still, still, it's better than the Lenny page, right? It's, this is still better than the Lenny page. And I also was able to upgrade a few combat pages in all my characters. As you can see, you only live once that gave Roland so much trouble in the last fight. It's going to join our side from now on. I'm probably not going to run, rather, <laughs> I'm probably not going to roll any 12s or 11 of that certain other guy. But I can have hopes, right? <laughs> in, the worst case of, in the worst case of scenarios, I can hope for the best. And maybe, just maybe, Roland is going to save the day with the YOLO. <laughs> right? There is a chance he might be able to save something. <laughs> Especially now that we have access to paralysis on our own, right? I mean, I could, I could inflict paralysis with that card. I also have a dry arm in order to increase the strength a little bit. And of course, to blow it up in order to inflict even more paralysis around here. And I have more access to a few air cards. And I also gave to uh, Ricardo. Ricardo's our main defense guys around here. But I also wanted to give that to Ronit as well, simply because it has the, the, the opportunity to lower the dice from the opponent. That sounds kind of promising, right? It sounds kind of promising. And the more page passive ability gives Roland the, the power to inflict more paralysis after every successful attack by 25% chance. I mean, 25% chance doesn't really sound like the best, but it's still better than other scenarios, right? I mean, in Pokemon you only have like 30% most of the time, and it happens way too often, so uh, yeah, I'm totally going to take the 25%. I'm totally going to take the 25%. Also, one more important thing, one of you guys has started to give me some advices on the Ego Gear around here, like uh, how to acquire certain Ego Gears from a certain enemy under special conditions, like uh, the hoodie right over here, you have to stagger an enemy, it doesn't really have to be the same enemy, but you have to stagger the enemy three times in one single battle in order to acquire this hoodie. And it has to come from the same character. They can't share it. It has to come from one character. The same applies to the Piper that Roland was able to get in the first part. Defeat all the rats with one character. Very easy requirement. I was able to pull that off with pretty much all of them. Everyone got the beat Pipers around here. But as you can see, <laughs> I use that information right away simply because this it gives us more clothing options around here. Improves our characters by a little. And actually speaking, that's an, a few information that I would never be able to look up for myself, simply because checking out Ego Gear and requirements might put me in risk of spoiling fights. So uh, if you guys want to give me some hints like that, I wouldn't really mind if you give that to me after every battle, simply because I wouldn't really be able to figure that out on my own unless I'm super lucky, which I most of the time not really are, so yeah, <laughs> I can't shake it for myself, I'm kind of relying on that one from you guys, so if you want that guys want to help me out with battle, uh, battle symptoms, uh, symbols and, uh, and outfit choices, just keep them coming, <laughs> just keep them coming, that's the only way to spare myself from spoilers, help me out here, <laughs> I don't know about special conditions. <laughs> Special conditions are always the worst thing for me. <laughs> Even in Atria, most of this stuff is so random. 
<sighs> God, we can't wait to see more of those hints. I really want to see. Alright, I really want to have more outfit options around here. Actually speaking, in order to not spoil it beforehand, I actually hate it. The cigar from June. <laughs> oh, Markov. Markov, you're going to become our boss around here. The rough life. The rough life of Markov. Force her to, to start smoking. Let's see if she's going to get better over the next couple of parts. But for now, not only is she a avoiding monster, but now she gets a power boost with a 1% chance, which probably is never going to happen at all, but then with a 1% chance, she's going to become even stronger for that one hit, or maybe that one avoid. <laughs> oh my god, those clothes are funny. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if those uh, effects are going to be that helpful. <laughs> But they look cute, right? They look, in fact, kind of cute. Anyways, uh, where was I? Right, 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 right. We need to send another invitation. After the Brotherhood of Iron, we have to send... Right, we weren't really able to tell at all until we send the informations. But somebody is interested on the Brotherhood of Iron, so uh, there you go. Let's see who's going to be lured in with this book. Maybe it's family for... For them? Right? Oh my god, can I get that mask? Can I get this mask? <laughs> Anyways, more fixers. My whole body is still aching from our last shop. The last... Oh wait, wait a second. The heck is that stuff? Is that actual weapon or is that a part of your body? Anyways, um... Uh, that's lasted longer than I thought. Still, yesterday was wild, wasn't it? Yep, the new weapon you got from the workshop was a real killer. That's for sure. So that is a weapon. You don't say. We got way too excited with them and things spiraled out of control. We had to kill 20 more people than planned thanks to you. Since it was a mistake on our part, we couldn't even get paid for the extra kills, you know? Oh, come on. Don't be such a killjoy. You're the one who went on the big rampage in the end. Maka's muscles are all sore because he had to try hard to calm you down. So that means he had to... Oh. So he started the mess. She went crazy. And he had to calm both of them down. <laughs> That's a good trio. Well, uh, well, I said I'm sorry about that. I hate to admit it, but Teen has a point. We all should try to cool down our temper a little. As long as we're working as fixers, it's not good to raise more uh, trouble than necessary, you know? True. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, cool! <laughs> Former members of the Killer Syndicate now register to an office and doing fixer work. Life really is full of surprises, isn't it? Right, it's that guy. The office is a weird one, too. Can't believe people like us are accepted. Remember what the boss said. There are so many officers and fixers these days, so standing out from the others is the best way to survive in this industry. Our outfits are all quite radical compared to what other officers have. That's true. That's why it's filled with maniacs like us. What we gotta do is kill the target in the most gruesome way possible and hang their body out in the open. The one that everyone is excited to join. <laughs> what? It's so different from what we've always been doing, you know? At first I thought it was crazy that an office would do this kind of work. But I guess threatening targets and sending them a warning makes enough sense, you know? It seems to be working well, too. Though we've only been getting requests from no-name syndicals and poor folk, you know? This office has a long way to go. It does feel more like a, a pack of rats than a proper office. Got a message from the boss. Says we should drop by to get new work. Okay, why did they... Wait, were they sent by the boss? Doesn't really seem like they were able to find the invitation. Even rescue like those can join office these days, so huh? I mean, why not? Even those officers need murderers and bodyguards, right? The whole market is a red ocean. 
Everyone wants to be a fixer. And it doesn't count as ranking yourself over the coals because... Oh, listen, I'm not look like... <laughs> I'm not look like it, but I used to be a hot stuff, you know? I mean, you have a suit. But then things happened and I fell to rock bottom. So what did you do for a living? I did all kinds of stuff, really. Doing things within my abilities. Mm -hmm. Is that so? That means you didn't get to do any proper work then. <laughs> oh, that's mean. <laughs> wow, we really did teleport in the blink of an eye. Is this uh, one of those singularities? <laughs> Greetings, dear guest. Wait, did you already get attacked? Did you actually already get attacked within one second of entrance? It's even worse than Roland! Roland was at least able to talk a little. <laughs> hey there! What the? She's pretty damn sturdy. How much did you spend on that bot? Did they attack her? <laughs> ah, there's no need to needlessly exhaust yourself, dear guest. You need a rampage with all. Uh, you will need a rampage with all you have soon enough. I don't like your soft tone. Ah, no, not really. <laughs> oh, look at her face now. Guess she doesn't. Re she really isn't. Yet another surprise. It's so rare to meet a sapient being that isn't human in the city. I know, right? Might get a ton of cash out of this. May you find your book in this place. Oh, you already made her angry. You already made her angry. Don't you know that you have a few stuff that you shouldn't do around here? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, we have two eggs I have to fight twice. The first wave doesn't really seem that troublesome. I mean, they only have 18 HP. Then, I'm gonna give Markov and Ricardo a try this time around. Let's see how they're going to play against those two. So, let's see. First and foremost. Okay, that guy is the slowest of all. He's not gonna attack at all, that's good. Which means I recover 1 HP. He has the options to recover? I mean, it's only 1 HP, so that doesn't really matter at all. But why is he doing anything? Upon defeating an enemy, you gain one strength next scene. Oh, you don't say. Sounds like a useful ability. Anyways, you're gonna attack me first with one to four. I hope you're going to be ready for this because that's going to hurt a lot. I'm also going to inflict a uh, fragile on that guy simply because he's not fighting back. And he doesn't really have to do anything for that. The second he activates that card, he's instantly getting healed. That's good to know. Okay, both of them are trying to go for my Ricardo. That's such a foolish thing to do, though. I'm try to go for Endure. Which I'm probably going to do. And this guy. And then, of course, I'm going to go for... Corporation the other in order to distract him from our Ricardo. Reflected, blocked, and hit. And another stagger. Even better. Okay, let's equip the ashes on Ricardo. Both of them aren't really able to do anything this turn, which means I can probably just go for the kill. Fighting all for. Uh, do we have a better card for him? Really. Okay. Biting off for that guy with the most HP. Mm, don't really need the preparation. I guess we're going to go for the defenses since uh, I can't really tell if they are able to survive the next round. Well, at least one of them didn't. That's good. Okay, you're going to go for me. Rampage. Red Eye. Inflict one bleed next scene. Inflict one bleed next scene. Ah, I see. We have a better card for this. 
two to four, three to five. Mm, I might lose against the second hit. But Struggle might be able to stop him. And then we're going to go for a dirty plow because that is just going to do a lot of damage. Okay, first deflected, one hit. And I didn't even have a chance to use my dirty plow. Oh well, right? Oh well. But then again, it was just the first wave of attack, right? It's just a bunch of normal fixes. Now we come to the extra stuff. Oh, please tell me I'm going to get that, that mask. <laughs> I would really love to have that mask. Actually speaking, the outfit looks really great. Not really a fan of that guy, but I like this, this scarf. Now a key page. I'm probably going to get that outfit. Yeah, we're going to get that outfit. Maybe not for one of my guys currently, but the next girl character that's going to join is going to have that suit. <laughs> They're going to have that suit. Okay, you two, get ready. We have to get some clothes around here. We have to get some clothes. This is very important business. Okay, two go for my Ricardo. That's to be expected. All of them are just trying to heal. Well, if that's going to be the case... I'm going to go for the Guts Harvest. On the big guy. And then I'm going to... I mean, technically speaking, if I had... I don't have a point. I don't have a point. Never mind. But I am able to use to slow on him. That way, I might be able to keep my... If I can keep my avoid dice, I should be able to use it again against her. But it all depends if uh, Markov was able to trigger it first before he starts or rather before he picks a fight with my Ricardo. But oh well, I'm going to see, right? <coughs> okay, two hits. One is already staggered. I will see it fast enough. That's too bad. I was still able to keep my avoid dice stall, so that's good. Match light. Uh, what was that again? Single page convert. Let me do so. Match light status. Exclude on play pages. Whenever the librarian uses a page with match light, gain one ember. The page with match light becomes stronger based on the amount of ember. However, they have a 25% chance to damage the user if ember is at 4 or higher. How do I see if they have a match light though? Oh well, I'm just going to give that to, to Markov. Uh, is there some kind of icon on the, the card itself? Doesn't really seem like it. Anyways, you are going to try to find against my Markov. That guy isn't really able to do anything. Both of them try to recover the HP. Okay, I'm probably going to make sure that that guy is going to continue to bleeding. Do we have a bleed card around here? Not quiet. That's going to be a bummer. You're gonna take us first, so I'm going to just go for the Endure. There's a chance we might be able to pull that off. Then I'm also going to go for Commandering, simply because it's going to allow us to boost up their defenses. I'm faster than anybody else with Markov, so that means I should be able to get that defense buff up as quickly as possible. Yeah, okay, the first guy's already down. I'm going to keep my block dice. She wasn't really able to do anything. She deflected the first hit. Got a 12 hit on our Markov, but still fine. At the very least, we are protected for now. Okay, Ricardo. Are you going to feel good? Are you going to feel good about this? Going first. Avoid 1 to 7. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Ricardo's going to be faster though. What are you gonna do? You don't have to slow. So that means I might want to catch that with struggle. 
and I need something that avoids this void in order to cancel that out. Two to two is easy to be blocked. Two to three is a bit more tricky, I don't know. How about I'm going to try to lower your your next value of dice? Yeah, let's go for the little test, alright? I'm feeling good. Yeah, the little test is good. Ow! Chad Ricardo! How dare you do this to me? Look at that! Michael is really angry right now! What did you do? Now you go for my for Marco in order to speed up. Bad decisions. Really, really bad decisions. She has three lights, but isn't able to do anything this turn. Microphone is a bit faster than him. I'm gonna finish her off. We are also going to use preparation properly. They have to win that clash in order to get that effect. So in that regard, I'm just going to make sure that the uh, does she need the help? Yeah, she might need the help. But then again, she's already weak. Never mind. Ricardo, you're gonna hit that other guy. You're gonna hit that other guy. He only has a 1 to 4, 1 to 6. I might be able to use another feeling good on him in order to weaken him a bit further. That is, if we don't lose the clash. I'm really that lucky this time around, but that's fine. And she was still able to survive it. That's a bit surprising. Okay, you're going to try to recover. Much rage. Okay, one HP. Two six. I really like the look of it. Am I able to catch them? Oh no! No! What did I do? I am always clicking spacebar. <laughs> Oh god, Ricardo! Ricardo, I'm sorry! It's my fault! It was my fault! Don't worry, I gotcha! I gotcha! I, I have to preemptive strike! We have to preemptive strike! Fend this off if you can! Wow, that's a scary looking card! Lowers max value of opponent's dice and flick two bleeding the next scene! Ooh, didn't it say? Ricardo might be able to survive that turn, which means we're going to defend against that for now. Okay. Yeah, Ricardo is able to survive without issues. Sure, he only has 4 HP left, but it's fine. That's fine, Ricardo's fine. We're going too slow now. We're going too slow now. <laughs> okay. Against this. Do we have a dirty blow? Of course we have a dirty blow. Ricardo! Feed him! Feed him! <laughs> oh god, Markov is having issues. Markov is having issues! <laughs> What's up with those magic lights though? Ember 2, max roll value of the first die of the page with magic light increased by 1 for each stack. The die inflicted burn equal to the stack of ember on hit. If there are 4 more stacks, how do I see who has, has matching light? Or am I blind? Am I simply blind? I mean, she is clearly gaining ember. That needs. There has to be some kind of matching light around here. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, maybe I'm just not seeing it. Anyways. I don't have the lights. Which is not good. I'm just going to buy it off and block with Ricardo. Probably with uh, the with struggle, simply because she has access to a sixer roll. The second dice might not be able to block it completely, but nevertheless, Ricardo, you might be able to survive it. Holy hell, Markov! I thought Ricardo was faster than you. Or maybe that girl was faster than you. <laughs> Nevertheless, I mean, it wasn't really the most precious fight, but uh, we won, right? I take it. We won. 
The emotional status was high, which means we're going to get quite a lot of books, right? Yes! <laughs> That's a bu Oh my god. You got the scar thingy! And you got the uh, hot blooded brawl of stuff that boosts your, up your HP by free! Great job, Ricardo! You actually gained two stuff around here! It's good! It's good! How did you get that though? Is that actually a scarf from that one guy? Huh. Uh, great work as always. I could learn more about the, of uh, about the office thanks to these guests. I, uh. <sighs> don't get too bothered by what they say about you, alright? Are you trying to consult me? Maybe, maybe not. I don't really care if you're actually human or not, you see. But that's refreshing to hear. It's been quite a while since I heard such a word of comfort. From even one person, too. Well, we're in the age of humanity, after all. Age of humanity? What does that mean exactly? Oh, don't stare at me too hard. Now, I, I don't know all the details either, you know. <laughs> at some point, intellect or serpent being that when humans were actually, uh, actively driving, uh, uh, driven out of the city into the outskirts. I'm not too sure why it took place, but the artificial intelligence ethics amendment was introduced as part of the movement. It was already possible to create machines capable of feeling emotion and desires, actually. Those that are pretty much human, in other words. I guess that was the problem. Thanks to AI ethic amendment, no machines could ever be made to resemble humans including replacement bodies. Though there seems to have been a few exceptions to this rule. Oh, it is as they say. I'm not human. I'm a machine. An artificial being. To be precise, I was assigned using a human as a template. Only a fraction of a brain was used in my creation. That's probably the reason why you aren't really alike to each other. Which is also the reason why, uh... <coughs> a... Didn't really care that much about her. So it's not even a human brain resting in a robotic body? Not at all. I am purely a machine. What about that fraction of a human brain you mentioned? Eh, it was only an electronic copy of the map of a brain. My body is entirely composed of mechanical components. I had a feeling. And it looks like you've been living under a rock your whole life. Seeing how you're obvious, uh, obvious to the work of the world, you know? You gotta be extremely careful then. Especially if you're planning to leave her here someday. You're a sapien android with emotion and desires. Your existence is more likely a complete violation of the AI ethics amendments. Which means you're going to have a lot of trouble if they realize your existence at all. The heads uh, scarily good at spotting anomalities like you. Alright, in case you don't know, the head is basically a bunch of shaped creeps that rule over the entire city. Or rather, shady creeps. Though we probably won't ever get to face them. Hopefully. Anyways, this whole library, a library is a huge risk in the first place, you know? The librarians over here also seem like they're humans, but not really human at the same time. What is that supposed to mean? It's just as he said. I was designed to feel emotion, and I spent what felt like an eternity on the stage, repeatedly performing a play that never seemed to end. And when I thought it was finally over, turns out I... it never really ended. I gotta say, whoever created you must have meant something else too. I don't know what motiva motivated them, but breaking the rule designated by the head itself takes more than just guts. I mean, if you consider that Beano was sent by them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a risky play on that part. We should really not pick a fight with them if we have a choice. No one can escape the head's enforcement. Unless, of course, you are somehow able to win. They did eventually die. But the library will be safe. It has to be safe. It's like a birdcage. No one is free to enter, and no one is free to leave. 
begin with that dreamy speech. You despise so much. What do you even mean by that? <sighs> I will leave this place one day, taking revenge on all things that made me into what I am, and earn true freedom. I don't really care too much either way. And that's that. And this is this. <laughs> so, she isn't free after all? I thought she wanted to escape this whole thing and create a library in order to collect more information. Didn't she say that she wanted to be free from the Lobronomy Corporation and experience sunlight on her own? Nevertheless, Roland? Let's see. This guy is. Yes, sir, from floor 2! Yes! Yes, sir, the new location! <laughs> Patreon Librarian of Technology Science. Yes, sir! Oh my god, and I just got a scarf. I might want to try to get that for you. <laughs> hey there. Name is Roland. Angela Servant. <sighs> I'm yes, sir. The Patreon Librarian of the Floor te of Technology Science. Is it just me or is this a, a cold and pierced stare I'm sensing? It's kind of different from Angela's, I gotta say. Are they getting along with each other? And what now? Don't tell me, are you one of those types that resort to violence when someone talks crap? No. But he's very picky on outfits from others. <laughs> Your necktie was loose. Uh, okay, thanks. Guess you're a nice fellow after all. <laughs> well, he really cares about uh, the outfits from others. Don't mind it. Don't pay it to mind. But I see there are some changes to him. He no longer has that necktie thingy. And gloves. He shows more skin. That's good. Anyways, uh, tell me. Why do you comply with Angela's order so meekly? Uh, mostly because I have no choice. I mean... In our first meeting, she literally ripped off my limbs. <laughs> now that I think about it, Malka doesn't seem too fond of Angela either. Is it a trend to dislike her or something? What do you guys have in common with each other? It's obvious that we wouldn't approve of her after everything that she did. Angela, she utterly crushed our hope at the very last moment, you know? Okay, that sounds complicated. Why are you working for her as a librarian then? It was part of the deal. The deal? I guess the deal is also why most of the floors of the libraries are locked up and the librarians are still asleep. Pretty much. Boy, I'm not a fan of convoluted stories, especially if it involves sentimental stuff, you know? Anyways, both you and I are obli obligated to help Angela now, aren't we? <sighs> That's true. Let's give it our best shot then. Put them there! Are you going to go for a high five? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? A handshake, never mind. <laughs> never tried it before, you know? The I look forward to working with you kind of thing. Well, he hated physical contact and hit his skin, so I'm not entirely sure if he did that for a while, but maybe now? <laughs> Come on, lighten up a little. If you can't avoid it, we might as well enjoy it. I'm supposed to get get you books like I do with Markov, right? Indeed, my role is to collect and sort books about technology, uh, technological science of the city. Especially, I mean. Since it becomes clear that we're both well aware of our occupation, kindly take your leave now. Ugh, fine, fine. I was about to go anyways. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're not going to get that along. <laughs> I mean, yes, it is always a bit distant from the others, right? He's always a bit distant. Urban myths. Wait, did we get upgraded? Oh, they do not have the time to think about the terror at the end of the song before the setting of the sun. Scene 2, Urban Myths. Any more reports of the distortion from the HANA Association or the SPY Section 1? None, sir. They are all observing the situation for now. They did nominate the number of likely subjects, however. So far, we have 
two urban plagues, laundry of dreams in yesterday's promise, and one urban legend, the Church of Gia. The investigation hasn't been going too well, is it? Oh, and the library. A recently appointed urban myth is also on the list of possible sources. <laughs> so even the higher ups are cool units, aren't they? Seeing as they throwing out random guesses now. What? <laughs> what did I try? The stores? Roll hint! Anyways, uh, I'm starting to get used to sorting out books now. Yeah, we got a bunch of them already. Tell me, why are you helping me so submissively? What? Remember when you said you would kill me if I don't cooperate? I guess it's probably that's the reason. <laughs> and I can't leave you by myself either. Though you don't appear to be motivated by fear. I've seen quite a lot of people crawl along the floor, stricken with fear and terror, you know? Judging from my past observation, I doubt you will be helping me simply because you're afraid of dying, you know? Well, what the hell are you doing in the past? Ah, it's busy stuff. The bottom me, you know? <laughs> Anyways, to be more honest, I have a few things I want to know about this place too. Such as... You said you want to get one perfect book, uh, book as you gather books about the city, right? I figured I could run into some fun experiments if I join you on that journey. I don't have a whole lot to do out there anyways. I will go back to being a washed up fixer, scrapping at the bottom of the barrel again. And there's one thing I've been meaning to figure out more than anything else. I'm hoping I could maybe find an answer here one day if I stick around and help you out. I mean... We're going to gather as much knowledge around the city as possible. There's a chance we might be able to help you. Well, you have a coincidence of interest, I see. Sure, as much as I exploit you, you're free to make use of me. Try to be careful about it, though. A careless attempt could seriously get you killed, you know? <coughs> Sheesh! You're being way too vicious with words and all that. Just made, what made you so sharp? You better not pry into my past any further. I already feel like slowly melting your limbs this time. Fine, jeez, don't be so threatening. Um, I have a question, ma'am. Do you take question, ma'am? What is it now? Make sure it's an appropriate question. I did warn you already. What's up with the librarians here? They don't really feel like real humans. But they don't seem to be machines or artificial creatures either. Are you going to explain that? Entities called abnormalities and employees, both of which were thoroughly exploited by the facility that once stood upon here, where we are. They are just like me in that sense. Trapped forever in a cycle. But you're not going to explain all the stuff to him, right? Like, the turning into abnormality stuff. I'm not entirely sure if it would be wise for him to know that. Anyways, originated from humans, taking advantage of and abandoned what's grown out of use. Um, I don't know what you're doing with them now. It still looks like exploit exploitation, you know? <sighs> they were broken, couldn't even sustain a stable form, and their existence was so fragile that it could fade away at any moment. They were barely kept together as I bounded them to a physical body and a book. All I can do for them is, is to find the one book that will free me and the librarians. Is so he going to release them? It's the only way for any of us to leave, you know? I use the same kind of power to reconstruct your body. So she's actually helping them in order to get out of here. But it also means... Aren't we already kind of dead then? If we can only live in this place, and the human shapes of them are also only working around here, are they still alive? Are they actually alive, Angela? <laughs> Just remember this. As we collect, collect numerous books from our guest, we will eventually reach that one absolute book that contains everything. And that is going to set everyone free, right? Hopefully. Anyways, hello, yes, it. I might want to execute you very soon as well. 
But technically speaking, you're not going to join any battle yet, simply because it seems like I still lack two books in order to actually get your first barbarian around here. Which means, wait a second, need to check the time really quickly. 45 minutes. Okay, that might become a bit tricky. But you know what? Huh? You can now send general invitation. Oops. Oh. Which means now I can just put random stuff in and send out standard. Uh, an unimportant guest won't lead to the blood. However, they can be resourced to help grow the librarian. Take the two following steps. One, two below to send general invitations. Step one, choose any books you have registered as your book of day by clicking on the empty registered book slot. Can be any amount in grade. Note, putting in a combination of books that is used for red invitation will invite machine uh, matching guests instead. So... I can try something random. But if it fits with the requirement of a certain other type of guest, they're going to show up instead. Okay! Which means, if I were to, I don't know, use the more book, combined with a Jun book and maybe then a, a Finn book, I'm going to get what exactly? Butchers? I got a group of butchers! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay! <laughs> it's random. So I can literally summon whatever by using whatever. Great! Okay, uh, in the last fight I gave uh, Markov and Ricardo a chance. This time around, let's roll it and fit. Simply because it's three against one again. Otherwise, and uh, yes, it isn't really equipped yet, right? He isn't really ready yet. Okay, all of them, or rather two of them, are going to go for my fin. Don't really like that. Three to four bleed next scene. Is that on use or the hit? Quick attack. Cruelty. Recover HP equal to stack on bleed on target. Ooh. Okay. Anyways, if you guys are going to go for an attack, I should probably start by boosting up my defenses. I'm going to block that bleed effect. Then I should still be able to keep one of my defense dices. And I might get I might get to use another one of my hits after that. Okay, you two to six. I might be able to block that with a little test, which also is going to lower your next dice. So let's try to go for that. Five! Stagger! Perfect! Blocked again. Wasn't really that successful with Roland, but that's fine. At least Finn was able to pull off quite a good stun around here. Two are going for my Finn again. That's not good. Appetite, three to four. Ingredient hunt. Inflict two binds. What's bind? On the next scene. I don't think I want that. Two to six. Can I stop that? They rolled a six! Holy hell! No! No, I can't. I can't block that. Uh, I'm going to go for the try up. I preferably go for the kill with a dirty blow. But that all depends on my luck for Froland. Okay, I was able to avoid that. Not enough for the kill! Six hit for Finn, but that's fine. Now I'm able to protect my fin with the, the power of the bathtub. Okay, two go for my fin again. Might be able to stop it with my dirty blow. Yeah, I'm going to go for the dirty blow. I have to get rid of at least one of them, that's for sure. I have to get rid of at least one of them. Going to go for my fin again. Fin is already bleeding. I don't have the lights, which means I have to go for preparation. And 
that means I have a two. No, wait, I have a four. I might be able to stop that. Yep, I have to stop cruelty. Oh my god. Oh, I got the bleed. No, mind. Right. It's fine. Finn was able to pull off another win. <laughs> oh, still no stacker for him at least. That's good. Four to two. Might want to go for struggle this time around, huh? Or maybe the focus strike? Okay, first we're going to go for the struggle. Multiplock. One to four. No, wait. One to five, three to five, and one four. Holy hell, what type of cards do they have? Do I get them after the feeding bill? I would love to have them after that. This is bound two. Reduces all speed die by two. So bind lowers my speed. Okay, that's good to know. It's gonna block twice. It's kind of a strong block as well. You know what? I'm going to go for the dirty blow against him. Yeah, I might be able to pull that off. Oh my god! <laughs> my poor Finn! My poor Finn! Harlot! <laughs> you have to protect Finn! You have to protect Finn! This is important business! Gain two haste. Oh no, dude. No way in hell. Am I faster? I'm not even faster. I can't stop it. You know what? I'm tempted to go for YOLO. But at the same time... Paralysis might be a better option, right? Yeah, Paralysis might be a better option for this. Oh! Oh my god! The bathtub! The bathtub protected! The bathtub protected him again! <laughs> You need to stay safe, my boy! <laughs> you have to stay safe! They're so fast! They're literally strong strike! Five to seven! Holy hell! Oh, I can't block that with this. Oh, screw it! We're going YOLO! We're going YOLO with this! Finn, you aren't able to help. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to go for... I'm going to go for the kill on this guy. At least one of them has to die. YOLO didn't help! <laughs> YOLO didn't help! Oh god, roll it! Oh god, roll it! I didn't even get the kill! I'm not even getting the kill! Oh, screw that, dude! Are you able to kill? Might be able to kill if I don't stop it now. What the hell? To six, inflict two bleeds. I have to help Roland, otherwise he's gonna die. Ah, uh. uh, Roland, screw it! Go for the multi hit. There we go. Roland survived. Finn survived. And all of Gear. <laughs> I always go for my Roland. Are you kidding me? What do you want? All of you want to go for the triple kill, huh? Let's screw that. I'm going to go for Guts Harvest. It's certainly going to kill at least. And then we're going to go for the. I don't have enough points for this. Light preparation. We might be able to regain some energy that way. Oh my god! One! There we go! One more down! At the very least, our our emotional level is going to be very high after this. I can already promise you that our emotional level is going to be very, very high. And that's going to give us quite a lot of points! I hope! Dirty blow. Kill that guy. Kill him! Kill him! For God's sake! 
saw that. I don't saw that. <laughs> I wasn't even able to inflict paralysis. <laughs> okay, I might want to um, maybe use less books. Huh? Maybe we should use less books. I didn't even get a bedroom. <laughs> And I got one extra book. The emotional level is not worth it. The emotional level is not worth it. Am I at least able to get one of those butcher cards? I might be. Tyrant's page. Multi hit. Cruelty. Ingredient hunt. Appetite. I mean, it has the potential. I'm gonna burn like four of them. Let's see if I can actually acquire those cards. <laughs> I mean, the those cards were kind of strong, right? Holy hell, what's that? Did I get... Ooh, I was able to get the, the stuff from the other guys. And the outfit from Naoki. With the hook ability. All of them come with the hook ability. I even have... I can have the mask! I can have the mask! <laughs> I could have two types of mask, actually. Huh. Nice. Nice. I really like that. I really, really like that. I even got Butcher. Open wounds. Deal one extra damage against enemy that bleeds. Oh, that sounds good. And I got Cruelty. Multi-hit. Did I also get that block thingy? Oh, yes, I got the block thingy. Oh, Ricardo's going to get even better. Ricardo's going to get even better with this. And Ingredient Hunt is going to... Make our blood. No, wait, it's not blood, it's bind. I can slow down the enemy. Oh, that's good. I might want to try out some different types of combinations. Multi hit. Boost next die, max value by three. And I can do that twice. Holy hell! Okay, I might want to. Uh, <coughs> experiment a bit with uh, <coughs> random books. <huh? laughs> we might want to experiment a little bit. A little bit. Sounds like a very good thing to have. I'm actually going to burn a few of them as well. And those guys as well. Holy hell, overpowered? What's that? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not gonna make a cut right now. I need to see what the other cut is. What? Overpowered? Where's the, did I get it? I, I saw Rampage. Uh, going first. Rampage. Oh, that's gonna be so good. So much blood stuff there. Overpowered. Five to six. Inflict two bleed. That's even better than Dirty Blow. That's <laughs> even better than Dirty Blow. Holy hell. Oh, I need to build a new set. <laughs> I'm gonna build a new set. Give me a second. Actually speaking, I'm gonna make a cut right now. Yes, it. You're going to become our assassin around here. <laughs> You're gonna become our assassin. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had fun with today's part. And see you next Wednesday when we're going to experiment on a few uh, random battles, right? Until then. Bye bye.